Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pearl Harbor National Memorial. We're right here at Remembrance Circle. Now, right behind us is the list of names of the, the casualties here at Pearl Harbor. We have uh, names from the Navy, Army, Air, Army Air Forces, Marine Corps, and civilians. Uh, now, these uh, now these are all the names that were not on the USS Arizona. The names of the Arizona casualties are on the Arizona Memorial itself. Uh, now, among these names, there are some names that are a little different, and those are names in gold. Now, that would indicate that it was a um, recipient of the Medal of Honor, and that is a standard throughout all military ce uh, cemeteries in the United States. Now, among these names, you're going to see uh, Captain Bennion of the USS West Virginia. He ordered his ship to be counterflooded so it allowed the, the ship to sink uh, uh, straight down. Uh, and then you also, among these names, you also see Francis Flaherty, who was an uh, ensign on board the USS Oklahoma. As the Oklahoma was flipping over, he stayed behind to use the flashlight to allow his crewmen to escape uh, one of the gun turrets on USS Oklahoma. Unfortunately, both uh, Flaherty and Bennion uh, lost their lives here at the attack on Pearl Harbor. Now, among these uh, names you are not going to see, uh, that was also a recipient of the Medal of Honor here at Pearl Harbor, was uh, Chief uh, Ordnance, uh, Aviation Ordnanceman uh, John Finn. Now, John Finn was uh, stationed over at Kaneawek Bay, which is over on the east side of the island, and one of the first places to be hit here uh, on December 7th, 1941. Now, we woke up that morning and he, to the sound of uh, planes flying in areas where there shouldn't have been planes, and he also was uh, heard the gunfire and the explosions. And we rushed out of his uh, house, uh, got into his car, uh, and drove uh, to his to his uh, duty station on the runway uh, to make sure that uh, nothing was happening to his aircraft. But unfortunately, when he got there, some uh, many of his uh, uh, seaplanes or PVY Catalinas were already on fire and destroyed. Uh, but when he got there, uh, one he saw a. a, a aircraft painter inside one of the aircraft using the 50 caliber machine gun in the uh, side of the aircraft to shoot at the uh, incoming planes. Uh, but what he did, so he ordered the, uh, the painter to uh, leave the aircraft to bring and bring the 50 caliber with them because uh, he knew he was a better shot than the painter. Uh, so he placed the Air 50 caliber on the training rig in the middle of the runway and that allowed him to shoot at all the incoming aircraft. Uh, now, John Finn was not credited with actually shooting down any of the aircraft, uh, but he was able to shoot at all of them. Uh, now, he was struck over 21 times uh, throughout uh, his entire body. Uh, now, he had injuries to his head, he had lost the use of his right arm, uh, in fact, a bullet also went through his left foot. Uh, but for his actions, uh, he, was, uh, he was rewarded the Medal of Honor. Now, he didn't stop. Uh, fighting. Uh, in, in fact, after he was patched up, he didn't even go to the hospital. He went back to the runway to make sure that his three surviving aircraft were uh, loaded uh, and made sure and then sent out to go look for the uh, Japanese fleet. Now, the, his aircraft never found the Japanese fleet, uh, and on the following day, he checked himself into the hospital. Now, John Finn passed away in 2010 at the ripe old age of 100.